Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormus back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again for yet another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing another album review. Uh, we're going to be talking about Yeet's uh, newest album, uh, Life, which is pretty good. Let me tell you, I'm a big fan of this album. I think it's the best album that he's released so far. Let's talk about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm a big fan of this album. I'm not gonna lie. September 9th was a fucking banger. We had Nav's, Dem uh, Nav's Demons Protected by Angels and Yeet's um, Life. And when those first two came out throughout the first weekend, those were literally the only two things that I listened to. And I really didn't think there was a skip on either album. That has since changed, um, obviously, for both albums. But let's talk about it. Really, there's only two songs I'm listening to off this album. There's a couple songs that I think are good on this album, but there's only two songs I'm revisiting. So let's talk about it. So we're going to start it off with the intro track, of course, Flawless. I fucking love this song, man. My only gripe with this song is the start of it. The first like 30, 40 seconds of the guy talking about money. I think it's fucking stupid. It's so fucking annoying. People actually talk like that, which fucking blows my mind. And I think it's so fucking stupid. Apart from that, it's fantastic. This, the Pun intended, this song is flawless. I fucking love this song, man. Um, the rage production on this song is flawless, pun intended. The chemistry Uzi and Yeet uh, have uh, is fucking insane. Like, it's genuinely so good. Right now, this duo is literally flawless they're three for three they have no skips yet and on Yeet's upcoming project called afterlife there there might be three more uzi features on there and if that's the case i'm gonna be so fucking hyped nav and uzi don't fucking miss together or nav and oh fuck i just finished my nav uh video i mean nav and uzi don't miss together either but yeet and uzi don't fucking miss man like it's so fucking good it's so fucking good oh my god um yeah, there are three for three on their collabs. This one is definitely my second favorite uh, of their collabs, but you don't exist. Take a park and I talk and that's it. You don't exist. Oh man, I love this song so much. It's so good. Destroy your ears with that with that song. It's fantastic. I fucking love Yeet, man. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Let's I'll just try to get this back on track. All right, so... Like I said, this is my second uh, favorite of the three Yeet and uh, Uzi collabs. 3G is still my favorite. Uh, I love when Uzi lowers his voice and drags out the Paris um, in his verse. I love the transition between Yeet uh, to Uzi on this song as well. When Yeet starts off with a chorus, then we come in with an Uzi verse. Whew, shit, that's good, man. God damn, that's good. I think it's fire. Um, and I love when Uzi changes his flow. He's got a couple different flow switches in his verse, but I really like the one at the end where he's kind of dipping into the Yeet bag and like going for the mumbling, inaudible rapping that Yeet does for the most part. And it's fucking fire, man. I don't care if I can't understand you. The production is so damn good, man. <laughs> I love the production of this song so much. You guys know I'm an absolute sucker for rage beats and no different on this song. I fucking love this song, man. Um, yeah, I love everything about this song. I think it's flawless, uh, in my opinion. One of my favorite pieces of production from the year, and, uh, in my opinion, one of my favorite features of the, e of the year as well. Uh, moving on to Up Off X, uh, I think this is a decent song. I haven't been revisiting it much, but I do enjoy it. I like the production, um, and I feel like the production is very similar to a lot of Yeet songs, which is probably why I like the production, to be fair, but... Moving on to Out The Way, kind of a unique style of production for Yeet, still some rage um, in it, in parts of it, but overall I like the production and, and the ad-libs throughout the chorus, but that's about it. Again, not a song I'm revisiting very often. Uh, moving on to What It Feel Like, I think this is a decent song, uh, not one I've been revisiting often. Moving on to Got It All, uh, decent song, again, not one I'm revisiting often. Uh, moving on to Can't Stop It, another song where I feel like Yeet is experimenting a bit, which is nice to see uh, him trying to branch out. I do like the song, but again, uh, I'm not revisiting it all that much. I think uh, Yeet truly uh, succeeds on a rage beat, but we'll talk more about that soon. Uh, with that being said, 
Uh, moving on to Crank. Uh, I know a lot of Yeet fans were super hyped for this song, but I really don't see the hype around it. I think it's decent, and it's a funny TikTok sound or TikTok trend uh, that I'm sure you've heard, but overall, I don't find this song is that great. I think it's a little overrated. Not, not a song I'm revisiting very often, but now moving on to one of my favorite songs of the year. We have Talk. Man, I cannot fucking explain how much I love this song and how much of a fucking vibe it is. It's so damn good. The different vocal inflections from Yeet on this song is so good. He's got the high pace, or the high-pitched, like, fast-paced rapping, and he's got the lower-toned voice that's, like, a deeper-toned voice that's so fucking good to, or on the chorus. It's fucking incredible, man. I love this song. And you, if you guys see my top 10 video, you guys know the Curry Sway. It's, oh, it's so fucking good. I love it so much, man. This song is so fucking good, bro. I love this song so much. I don't know if a song has quickly become one of my favorites like this in such a short amount of time. Like, before September, or I guess August, I found this song. I'm like, oh my god. This is an absolute banger. This is an unreleased grail. Like, this is fucking phenomenal. It comes out, I'm like... I, I remember I said it in my top ten. I It comes out and I was listening to it. I'm like, I wasn't even paying attention. And then I hear the rage beat. I'm like, wait, this is, this is life. Because I thought it was going to be called life. And I'm like, oh my god, this song is fucking sick. That... That is absolutely facts, man. I fucking love this song, man. All right, all right. Let's continue on. Uh, every time I hear this song, I just... I curry sway. I, I, I just... It, this song just gets me so fucking hyped, man. Uh, I fucking love this song. Uh, it's absolutely in contention for one of my favorite songs of the year. One of my favorite Yeet songs. It's definitely top two or top three Yeet songs for me, to be honest. Um, definitely one of my favorite songs, uh, from Yeet this year as well. Uh, this was my most anticipated, uh, anticipated unreleased Yeet song. And so I'm super glad it got the release. Uh, there's still, there's a few new ones that I found this week though, that I'm starting to really anticipate a lot. So hopefully we get those soon too. I don't care if Yeet drops fucking three projects a year. If I can handpick like three or some three, four five songs out of each album that are just fucking bangers. That's all I want. I love his production. They're so fucking good. Um, yeah, the production on this song is absolutely incredible. I love the added and increased uh, production in the background. I love the sounds throughout the chorus as well. And I fucking love the chorus. All, all we do is just go number one. The chorus is so catchy. It's such a vibe. Let's move on. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, Come On. I think it's a pretty repetitive song that I'm not a huge fan of. Not one I'm revisiting. Uh, moving on to System. Uh, I get some Uzi type beat vibes from this. Uh, I feel like it low key could have been on Eternal to Take. I feel like Uzi definitely could have been on this song as well. Uh, it would have been intrigued to see how that would have been. Uh, could have been good, I'm sure. Uh, but again, good to see Yeet experimenting with other types of beats. Um, moving on to Holy One. Yeet experimenting with a different beat and a different sound once again. I think this is a decent song. I'm not a huge fan of the production, but again, it's just good to see Yeet branch out into other genres of uh, hip-hop or sub-genres of hip-hop. Uh, moving on to the outro, we've got Killing Em. I think this is such a repetitive song and it gets annoying very quickly. Not a song I'm revisiting. So overall, uh, this album I think is a good album. One thing I commend Yeet for on this album is that it doesn't sound the same. There's a lot of songs that I find actually sound different on this album. It's good to see Yeet kind of branching out, like I said, into different subgenres of hip-hop, where it's not just hype rage beats. There's some slower tempo production songs on this album. They're not for me. I think Yeet should definitely stick to the high-tempo fast paced rage production i just think those are his best songs in my opinion maybe not just high tempo like my favorite yeet song is get busy it's not uh, a high tempo song right but 3g flawless and talk are probably the other three of my top four um that are all much higher tempo so um Anyways, uh, I think this is, uh, a, like I said, I think this is a good project, and I, I do think Yeet succeeds over a Rage Beat or that faster-paced production. 
Uh, but again, it's just nice to see him experimenting with other sounds. You can see that he's actually trying to branch out, which is good. So he's not just a stagnant artist that does one thing and one thing only. Um, a decent project or a good project that's been in my rotation a decent amount um, overall. But like it's been in my rotation basically every day because of Flawless and Talk. Those two songs are some of my favorite Yeet songs, and they absolutely carry this project for me. They're they're the only songs that I've been or that I'm revisiting and that I've been revisiting. So yeah, I mean, yeah, there we go, guys. That's my album review. Sorry that half of this video is just me talking about Talk and Flawless. I'm just very passionate about my love for those songs because I truly fucking love those songs. So that'll be it for me today, guys. Hopefully, you all did enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.